as I said last time, we're gonna go and try to find some traces of um, the mechanic over at the grove. I have a feeling we're probably not gonna find anything, but you never know. There might be somebody who did mention that, uh, you know, the guy was here at least. Does it actually say in our journal? I probably looked at this already at the end of the, the last time. It's under what? Uh, companions. Our fiery friend, I'm sure. Need to bring her to a mechanic. Yeah, it doesn't specifically say that we can go here, so it can't slow down. I bet if the tieflings were still here, it would tell us that, um, you know, go to uh, go to check the grove. But because they're gone. It probably didn't show up. I guess with how um, complex and how many choices there are to do things in different ways, there had to be something that was overlooked. So, I mean, it's a small little thing. No gripes from me. Okay, we'll go down. We'll ask a couple people. And then if this is just a dead end, we'll just wait until later. I think um, Real Arcalian pointed out that it was, um, uh, the, the guy's going to show up in Act 2. So, excuse me, let me just get it that little, yeah. Okay, I thought for a second she was going to be left behind. So if we have to wait until Act 2, then, you know, we have to wait until Act 2. No big whoop. Some normalcy can return to the grove at last. Yeah, I'm feeling less and less like they're going to know anything. And probably just some, you know, random druids aren't going to know much anything at all. Probably have to... If anyone would know, it's going to be what's-his-face inside. Is that him? Wrath? No, there was another one, wasn't there? Wasn't he standing over here before? Traded place with that wolf? Oh, maybe Wrath will know something. By your efforts, Sylvanas' grace can be restored to the Grove. May he always share your stride. No, I don't think that they're going to know anything. All right, we're going to look and see if that one guy is in here. That's Nettie. All right, I think I've about given up on this. <laughs> so we're gonna go... Oh, we need to escape from here, don't we? Before we can... Can I like just... I guess I could probably just uh, teleport out of here, right? Yeah. Okay. Then from here... Oh, it would have been good to just go straight from there, wouldn't it? Well, we gotta go from Blighted Village, I think. <laughs> Don't worry, just wasting time. That's what you come to this channel for. <laughs> Take it too long to do stuff. I feel like that is the majority of how I play games. Taking way too long, investigating little things that don't matter. Deliberating on decisions that don't matter. <laughs> yeah, I can't get there. Okay, we do have to just tell him to jump. Can't you just know to jump? No, don't start jumping yet. <laughs> I guess I did click the button. All right. Back over here, on the Risen Road. Did that just... Did you see that? The the viscera just jumped up. It's just splatting around the place. Okay, so from here, we just kind of go straight up there. Did we need to, like, rest or anything? Oh, Lazelle is in bad shape. But we do have a short rest. Do we have, uh... Madness. So he does have two spell slots that could be, um... 
action, not she, she used one I've got a die. I have one rage charge. Yeah, we may as well, before we go up and have to possibly fight something else, we're going to go and have a long rest. Oh, hey, he's got something to say. Looking at something. <laughs> oh, he's got a mirror because he's a vampire. So, okay, he can be out in the sun because the um, the tadpole has, like, you know, done something and allowed him to do it. But it also has released him from, like, his master's control and all that. Does it also mean that he suddenly has reflection? Uh, just looking. What are you doing? I'm looking too. But not seeing very much. Oh, no reflection. Another quirk of my affliction. Do you miss it, seeing your own face? Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. <laughs> I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. Oh, yeah, what color were they before? You're not exactly aging gracefully. Rude. Come on, Tab. Now, what color were they before? I... I don't know. Oh. I can't remember. Oh, that's sad. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Stare into his eyes, take in every detail of his face. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'll be your mirror. I like that line. I think he'll probably find it cheesy. Or not like it, <laughs> but I'm gonna say it. I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What you see. I feel like that you can always just turn this around and be a total asshole. I kind of like the laugh, but I mean, again, he's probably not going to like the whole creases. He'd be like, oh, wrinkles. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's too serious for him to act like that. Excuse me. I'm an eternally <laughs> young vampire. Not your dating grandmother. <laughs> you can do better. What else? Dangerous smile. Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. <laughs> Carlac is beautiful. You're fine, though. I, you know, Will is more my type, but I gotta, <laughs> I gotta give it to him. He's, he's having a hard time of it. Observant. <laughs> Mirrors aren't much use, but... Being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well, I could do worse. I do feel bad for him. Just. It's like, how long has he been a vampire? Has it been said? It probably has, and I've just forgotten. And nobody else seems to have anything that they're wanting to talk about. And it hasn't been that long since we've been at camp anyway, so I think we'll just go to bed. Delicious. Yum, yum. Carrots and half-eaten apples. A big old jug of wine. Hope you guys enjoyed your apple cores. She's still smoking over there. I guess that's the tendrils. Alright, nobody's got any morning things to say. Shadow her off on her own over there. Should I keep the same party? Yeah, I, I'll i probably keep them for one more day. I'm kind of liking them. Like, we got a whole lot of strength, and then we got um, Will also backing us up with a little, the littlest bit of magic. Yeah, leave camp. Okay, now 
I turned around. Is that the way? I think it's this way. Oh, splashing right through the viscera. I noticed in the last recording I got kind of quiet at some point, so I keep looking over at the waveforms on my recording, making sure I'm, like, talking loudly enough. This, there must have been some setting I didn't change when I set everything up with my, um, my new computer. Okay, there's a, quite a few of them. Is that where the shipment is? Yep, it's right through there. Okay. We'll turn this on just because it's, you know, start of the day. Do we have anything else that we want to turn on? Any rituals or whatever? What's that one? Vomiturgy. Oh, it's just for, yeah. Still alive. So that's progress. All right. Well. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Are they friendly? Is yellow mean friendly? They must be. They're people, right? Level 4 human. Yeah, because they're not red, so they must be friendly. Wow, there are a lot of them. There's an... Okay, Null Hunter. Flesh Gnar. Could we have gone around... Oh, we probably could have come up here and... Oh, well. Just trying to get an idea of, like, what we're going to be dealing with. So does this hyena have hunger or anything like that? Okay, none of them, as far as I'm aware, are going to be birthing new ones. At least. Okay. Victory awaits. Victory or Sovereign Guard. Um... 85 health, jeez. Okay, let's start with... Can she get up on him already? Distracting strike would be good. She doesn't have the movement, though. So I guess... She could get up close. And she might just have to... No time to waste. Close are you? Oh, she is so close. That's annoying. No, we'll use that. Four to sixteen, not twenty percent. Oh, target is too close. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Can you like reach out, do anything? You know, we could use some of these scrolls. Up to twenty-four hit points. That won't work on him, but. Oh, we can hit both of them. Thunder wave them, Lazel. I will... Yeah, I think we'll just go. Hey, what are you guys gonna do? Taking your time. Oh, they're laying down some cover fire. Now, you're in for it. It's bear time. Okay, we can get him up there and we can great axe. Can't use any of these because they're bonus actions. We already did a bonus action. Time to press ahead. Is he acided? No, I don't think so. Okay. Come on, big money, big money. All right. Jeez, that's, <laughs> we're not doing a lot of damage.
Oh, they're all coming down here. Lysel has that sweep attack, though, so if they're going to get right up there, she should be able to sweep and hit a few of them. Oh, they're all coming for us. Okay, I think I'll get her away from Will before I have her turn on her, uh, Soldier. her rage. Just in case. What she got? Oh, what was that? She can make difficult terrain. Ground within 17 feet of them is difficult terrain for everyone other than the barbarian having movement speed. Oh, that's gonna be kind of annoying for us because it's also gonna affect our people. Oh, no. Can she actually strike? 80%, she can just reach. Get him. Oh, come on, that was so close. <laughs> I hate the little noises the hyenas make. <laughs> Where the hell are you going? Oh, he's gonna eat the viscera, isn't he? Oh, okay, no. He's going around. It's just taking the long way. Can we? Oh, 40%, but it would be really good if we could get it. All right, I'm gonna risk it. 40%, hold them down. I saved, fucker. <laughs> I think it's best for Will to probably stand back. So stay there. The shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No, the voice has forbidden this meat. Nor will see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, they're tempting me to use the power again. Oh, I don't want to, though. I want to go without using the power. Prepare to strike. Oh, nice. Shit. She's paralyzed. They're getting crits on her. Rebuke him. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think this might not be going so hot for us. <laughs> I think I could do 8 to 18, 8 to 18, cleave, uh, it's already past her turn, so if I get her up, then we're just going to lose that turn, uh, let's try to lacerate him and we can... how much? 55? It's not the best, but... 1 to 8... Uh, yeah, let's throw a Wyvern's Toxin on it. Oh, they, they get an attack of opportunity just because I tempted to use or is it because it made me move oh the last rate didn't work or the yeah last rate didn't work but poison maybe what does seething fury do for them is that their own version of um 
be able to attack multiple times per turn. God, these things are awful. I may have to do this again. I'll probably try going around a different way. How much damage can she do? 8 to 17? She could possibly get rid of this one. It'd be good to just get rid of some of these others making... Or this, that are causing damage. And I don't think Will has any spell slots left. Battle favors the fearless. Yeah, so he's not going to have anything big that he can throw. We don't have Gale with us. Who's moving next? That one. Both of these guys are going to be moving next. Right, maybe we can get rid of this one. Hopefully we can... Full damage, come on. No. It'd also be good to have, like, Bless and stuff, too. That's not great. I don't know if I want to risk it. Who is moving next? That guy. All right, let's just get rid of this one. Move him out of the acid. Trying to finish off Lazel. 21. This stuff the poison on, does that last for multiple turns? Or did that not actually work? Is she fully dead? Yeah, she is. We're gonna have to use a um a scroll. Even if I'd gotten her up, I'd, she would have been right back down immediately. Um, do I have cleave? 5 to 10? No, we need, like, as much damage as possible. So after him, there's going to be a little guy moving. And that one, and that one. Ugh. We really got to get rid of this big guy. Okay, all of these are bonus actions, so I'll save that. Come on! <laughs> Wyvern Toxin. Nice. Potion of healing. Jesus. Really? Oh, good God. Okay, this, this will be able to kill this guy at least. As long as you can hit 60%. Don't fail me. <laughs> nice. Okay, and... Where even is Lazel's body? <laughs> it's under there. Alright, um... Yeah. Twenty-two, one, twelve. Who's gonna be moving next? That guy. Probably do another Eldritch Blast. I'd like to like do that, but you gotta pick up close for it. Okay, I'll have him come around a little bit. Oh, good. I was worried he was going to turn around and hit Tav. 
Um, how do I see all my other items? There it is. I need a big heal. Come on, 20. 15, not bad. These guys. You shits. Which one should we go for first? They're basically the same. All oh, the terrain difficulties. Okay, I think I would like to go for one of them, but I won't be able to reach them. Okay, let's just try to get rid of this guy. Uh, go for it. Really? A, oh, you missed again. All right, stand out of the difficult terrain. Oh, shit. Fucking forgot. <laughs> All right, just stay there. Whatever. I don't know. The, they've already taken theirs, so get out of the difficult terrain. We're going to prep to go up with these guys next turn. She doesn't have any poisons or anything. It's gonna have her put one on. Casting spells is blocked. Is it because she's surrounded by uh, by these assholes? All right. Uh, yeah. Almost got him. Maybe pop a potion. Two health. Can you get up on this guy and flourish him? Miss. Oh. I don't want this guy being able to shoot from up on high. Also, need another big potion. Do you have anything else he could use? Eh, I guess not. Not right now, because I just used an item. <laughs> hey. One day I'll catch a break. Come on, big hits. <laughs> oh, he saved. I forgot what the... What does his weapon even do? Jeez, he's got a lot of stuff going on. I would actually see that under... Because I'd have to go to items. Tears protection, which gives... Oh, because that's... Wait. No, it was the Wyvern Toxin of Camp being dumb. I should probably throw on, like, Tears protection, right? <laughs> Casting spells is blocked. Is that just, like, in general? Is there something in the area protecting... Like, stopping spells? <laughs> Shit. They're trying to throw me. Okay, she could potentially kill that one. That one's got less health. Let's get him first. won't be able to move because she's currently in his zone. How much health does he have? 20? That was 12. I'm less worried about this little hyena. Disadvantage. Ah, that's annoying. Why disadvantage? Is it because he's in... Oh, he's in the sh shitty terrain. 
two to nine. Five to 14. How much can he get from that? Does he also have disadvantage here? No. Oh, good. And did that automatically use his um, flourish? Oh no, that's a short rest. Oh, I thought he just got a bonus action of like a free hit. Should I also maybe have him pop a, pop a pot? All right, you can do this. Come on, only 11. That's all you need. Yeah, you got it. Need to find a way forward. Where are you going? All right, I think we just got to get rid of this guy because I don't want to have that attack of opportunity. Oh, come on. Now, if I move her up, that should mean that he's out of her uh, terrain thing. Oh, I thought for a second, I just watched the health go down, but I thought it was him for a second. I was like, wow, I didn't realize you'd hit that hard. All right, you got to get up in there. You've made a grave mistake. There's a lithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. By the gods, you're a sweet sight. I am pretty I handsome. Is my crew still alive out there? Um, were they the ones down south? No, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. <laughs> you can threaten him. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where are you headed? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Uh, where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You gonna try and hire me? You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. That's a band of creepy mercenaries. Oh, we're doing this as, um, as Will. So, oh, we could detect his thoughts. I don't want to rob him. Yeah, let's read his thoughts. We got these things sitting around. We never use them. Am I actually doing it as Tav? Because I don't think he'd be able to give guidance to himself, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, I do have four inspiration, and that's the max, so I might want to use one of those just in case we can get another one. All right, I'll use one, and if it doesn't work, then we'll move on. Oh, hey, all right. All right, is he going to be suspicious in some way? Is there something going on I need to worry about? Shame we lost so many agents, but the chest is all that matters. Cyrus would have our hides if we lost it. Hmm. Should I ask about the cargo, or should I say Zaris? All right, what's in the chest? Aye, the whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Terenths. Oh, 
failed that. A lot of people did die for those baubles. Rich men place more value on wine and fine clothes than on the lives of folks like me. It's a pretty bit of frippery that'll sit on a mantle gathering dust. But the pay for delivering it makes the risk worthwhile. Yeah, I don't want to take his cargo. If they were hauling something and they knew it was some kind of evil thing, then sure. But because they're just, you know, trying to do a job. And they've gone through it. They've been, you know, heavily murderized. <laughs> okay, do we have... Hey, good looking. <laughs> Calm down, you. Okay, he's got... Uh, she's got one, he's got one. She had one on her. Can't give up now. I don't think that he has any spares, does he? Oh, no, he does. Okay. Scroll to Revivify. Lizelle, stop sleeping. Get up. Come on, get up. He will not take me. For a second, I thought it used it on the Nar. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Man, that was... I mean, it went better in the end than I expected, but uh, not as good as it could have gone. Oh, hooray, more ears. Oops. They don't really carry goodies, do they? Well, there's a, one of those. And a shattered flail. Yinobu's gift. Hitting an enemy with this weapon heals the wielder for one to six hit points, but they can go mad if they don't continue hitting an enemy each turn. Ha. Huh. I don't think I want to use that. <laughs> I'll take it and sell it. Ah, shit. <laughs> That one. Another step forward. What's that? Sound like a bear. Oh, not up there. Poison, dagger, salami. Ooh, speedy reply. When the wielder hits an enemy with this weapon, they gain momentum for two turns. And also a bunch of, uh... The rest of our crew's half digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. Is that something that he could use? It's a scimitar. Where am I needed? He's not proficient. Well, then I guess I'll hold on to it. Looking ahead. Okay, we're probably just going to end up doing a long rest, but I'll do a short one just in case something comes up and surprises us. Now walk in the fire, guys. Good, good, good. Would you not walk in the fire, please? We only just brought you back from the dead. Lazelle. I'm fine. I'll be glad when we're out of this bloody cave. Thanks again. We'll head out as soon as we've caught our breath. I am not. I'm fine. And a whole area back here I'm curious what the little baubles are but reading his mind didn't have it you know didn't come out with anything that would have been especially suspicious I guess you could come up through here and take that from behind them when they're fighting the gnolls does that finish that quest line Find the mission, missing shipment. Rugen thanked us. Oh, right, because we need to go back and uh, go to their hideouts and use the password. 
Where's their hideout? Off over that way, okay. Well, let's take a little peek around here. Really having some struggles getting up that uh, that ladder. Everybody's just uh, uh, <laughs> camp supplies, camp supplies, camp supplies. Very nice. Oh, I meant to do shift. I did control instead. Oh well. The rest of our crew's half digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. Oh, nice some potion. Open heresy. Oh, it's more about Shar. Few recognize Shar as a goddess of creation or Saluna as a goddess of destruction, yet both are true. Born in the primordial ebb and flow of time, they forged a beer to reel together and Shantea, mother of life, sprung into existence. Alright, so it's a bunch of lore about gods and goddesses. We can take it. Chip shoes. Ignoble hat. The rest of our crew is half digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. Lots of wine. Go get drunk, baby. Okay, that is a dead end, so we can go down here. Can't reach it. What do you mean, can't reach it? I'm fine. And so's the chest, more importantly. Yeah, I know, I get it. The chest is fine. I've heard. Trap. Be cautious. Aha. <clears throat> don't don't you step on it. Don't you step on it. Do not <laughs> I was like ready to move it. Can you like Ah, oh, damn it. Before my time. I wanted it to, like, I wanted to be able to sneak around it. No, can't even open it. Come on, guys. Get out of the poison. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go and do a, uh, a rest. I might swap out for, um,. Uh, Astarian, so we can open that chest. Nothing over there that I think we can even get to. Oh, there's a way over there. I didn't even realize. I'm fine, and so's the chest. More importantly. Oh, lightning arrow. I don't think I've seen one of those. Yeah, wicker basket, but whatever. There's probably nothing important in it. Oh, you're gonna go all the way around, huh? You know what? No, just just jump. It's our lucky day after all. I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's half digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. It's a lot of these fire wine barrels. And oh god, I saw that and I knew it was coming. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, I looked up and I was like, ah oh, shit, that's gonna roll down, isn't it? Uh. You know what? I've had just about enough of this place. Let me get around this. Let me get around this in any way. Can we jump over it? Path is interrupted.
So are we good? Nobody dead? See, so you could just come from here, and if you try to go around the back way, then that's what you get. Although, you could also go up this way. Where's the waypoint? Oh, there was a waypoint here the whole time I could have found. Oh, the road is in bad shape. Accident or sabotage? Does this go to? Just right up where we were fighting. All right, I think. Come back down. And we're going to long rest. <laughs> Is that. <laughs> that wasn't the best. <laughs> we've had. We've had better runs. Go drink some of that wine. Anyone want to talk? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's do a rest. God, look, he is just covered in blood. Maybe a fish head? Oh, yeah, we're having fish head and apples tonight, boys. Who are we swapping out? I want to keep Carlite for a bit. Just because, you know, she's new. Maybe... I could leave Lazelle? Isn't it glorious? Carlac's fury is a wonder to behold. <laughs> Maybe I should keep them together, just like <laughs> they would get along. Now wait for me. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Yeah, stay here for now. Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. All right, Asterion, you're up. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. Oh, sure. If you got more to tell. You said he was your master? Or you don't have to tell me anything you don't want to? Now you... Come on, tell me. Spill the beans. My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this... Strange, twisted freedom. Kazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. So, okay, he's well over 200 years old. How were you turned? Did he attack you? Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long Eternity could be. I think we heard part of his story before, right? I mean, it's been a couple weeks, so sorry if I'm forgetting everything. But yeah, he. I remember him talking about it when we talked about the um, the the like monster hunters, the vampire hunters, or whoever that are after him, like the Gur. I think they were called like G U R. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. So now we know a little bit more about the details. You've been a slave ever since? A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak. 
and our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vane mood settled on. Oh, we are going to murder this guy. That sounds terrible. I'm sorry. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. Keep me safe and I'll do the same. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? I need you in the party. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. So we've got a Sterion. So we got our rogue. We got two barbarians. And Will. I just pro I kind of want to keep Will. Although I also kind of want Gale's magic, but I'm not even sure if I've got enough, like, magical items that I could, um, feed him. Can I sort by magical? <laughs> Just sort by type. God, we really need to sell some garbage. Can I just drop these in the chest? What are those? Oh, the die, right. Sort by type. I think that has just unlimited storage space, right? All right, we're gonna see about. Where's the? Come on, give me. Come on, come on! I'm grabbing it. Come on! Oh my God, what? What is? The, what is happening? <laughs> uh, why is it so annoying? <laughs> Grab it. Move it. All right. Let's put all the food in here. Is it out of space? No. So I just moving them one by one. All right. I think I'll move these in here too. How much? Do they take up only 0.4? They're not a lot. But I'm not going to be using them. God, there's all those, like, terrible potions. <laughs> oh, don't. No. That's not what I wanted at all. because I'm just like grabbing and replacing. Yeah. Why do I have so many of these? Here, drop that. I don't need multiple camp supply sacks. And also I could... Uh... Oh. Clear that out. Sweet. Drop that. Is that a patch together sack? What is that for? And just a random pouch. Do I need those for anything? I mean, I guess I could keep some of these for like putting various items into that I don't want clogging up my main inventory. Put all the like the weird potions. No. What's that? No, I didn't mean to do that. 
Strength is increased by two until next long rest upon resting strength. It's indefinitely reduced by one. I did not mean to click that. I'm going to reload because that's not something I meant to do. There should be an auto save, right? Is that the right one? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think there's something wrong with my mouse because I actually grabbed my mouse because I thought it'd be easier to move stuff back and forth using it, but it's not like it was having trouble clicking and dragging that window too. I had to go back to my controller to do it properly. All right, I'm gonna put stuff away and deal with sorting my inventory, but I think I'll just end right here and save you the, uh, <laughs> you know, having to watch me just do inventory sorting. So I'm gonna save and then uh, next time we'll have that sorted out and we need to move on to Moonrise Towers. I think that might be the next big thing. Can I see the map? Oh no, of course not, because we're in here. Wish I could just go back. There's not a button to go back to the main map, is there? Alright. Well, probably next time we'll figure out what we're doing. We might just go on to Moonrise Towers. There's also some of this stuff. Although they don't have, like, map icons, only that one does, so we might not even be able to do these. Just search for it, right? Blade of Frontiers? Oh yeah, we met Mizora. She sucks. Asterion is a vampire! Who would have guessed? Uh, <laughs> we gotta kill Kazador. He sucks, too. Yeah, alright. I'm saving here. We'll figure out next time exactly what we're going to do, but maybe we'll go to that place where we got to use the secret code of, like, snake shadows and stuff. And then maybe head on to Moonrise after that, through the Underdark, I believe. So until then, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.